Hey guys, this is Michelle Tomlinson with eXp Realty, and I'm here to talk about where in the Lake Gaston am I? Um, this is a popular conversation because if you're looking at Lake Gaston listings or talking to friends on the lake, um, you're going to hear them talk about the various creeks and the quadrants of the lake, and that can get a little overwhelming if you don't know the lake really well. So I created this little map for you as a handy dandy reference. You can feel free to use it, download it, share it. Um, you're going to, you're going to enjoy using this, I promise. So. All right, if you're looking at the lake, all the way over to the left-hand side of your screen is Smith Creek. That, uh, the how the lake kind of goes off from there, off the left-hand side of your screen, that's basically where Car Lake starts, that dam starts feeding into Lake Gaston, okay? And then all the way to the right-hand side, you'll see Jimmy's Creek and Lee's Creek. That dam right there is where Lake Gaston stops and Roanoke Rapids starts. And I'll have a whole nother kind of uh, video on uh, all those different lakes and how they feed together. Um, but right now we're just talking about Lake Gaston and in the middle you can see the quadrants that is divided east and west by the Eaton's Ferry Bridge. And if you've ever spent much time at Eaton's Ferry Bridge or, or Lake Gaston, you have seen the Eaton's Ferry Bridge. You've been over it. It's got the restaurants right there. It's got the shopping, the food lion. You can't miss it. So if you can reference that bridge, that is uh, your east and western quadrants. And then anything on the northern side of the lake is considered the northern quadrants and southern side of the lake is southern quadrants. So now you know. And then all the creeks, you're never going to memorize them. Like I said, download this video. But what is important to know is some of these creeks have smaller little bridges that you have to cross under to get into the back of the creeks. So depending on what kind of boat you drive and water sports you want to do, um, that may or may not be a good fit for you. So important to know if you hear people referring to being at the mouth of a creek, that means they're more at the entrance of the creek. So they probably have main lake view versus um, a, solely a creek cove view. The red line going across the center is the divider between Virginia and North Carolina. You can see that most of the lake is in North Carolina, but we do have a lot of it in Virginia. And if you're looking to rent your house out short-term rentals, important to know there's some counties in Virginia that don't allow short-term rentals. There's also some HOAs throughout the lake that don't allow. So that could be a great thing if you don't want to rent and don't want to be around renters, um, or it could be a deal breaker if you're looking to rent your house out. So all important conversations to have. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is figuring out where your friends are. Because if let's say you live down on Jimmy's Creek, Lee Creek area, and your friends are all the way to Six Pound Creek, Haw Creek, Poplar Creek, that can take you anywhere from, you know, 30, 45 an hour to get there by boat. So it's not just a hop, skip and a jump. So it, um, definitely if you're looking and you want to be near friends, find out where they live and that'll help us kind of channel, you know, where you look. But maybe you want to be far away from them. So just all important conversations to have. And I'm happy to help you with that. Email me, text me, comment, however you want to get a hold of me. I'm here to help. And I look forward to helping you with your lake house shopping.